what will an individual learn when they are taking the CWDP course? CWDP, this is all about design. It's the Certified Wireless Design Professional. And the focus is on making sure that you can plan a Wi-Fi network that will meet the requirements of the organization. So it starts all the way at the very beginning with doing effective requirements analysis. You have the ability to go in to an environment, meet with the different professionals in that space and get information from them to help you develop requirements. And you also have the ability to know based on what they're telling you, what their needs are, even if they may not be aware of it. What I mean by that is they might tell you, well, we want to have a network that does A, B, and C. Oh, and we want voice over IP to work across the network. But you know that they can't do A, B, and C. Maybe they can only do A and C if they're going to also have voice over IP on the network. So you have the expertise to address that issue when it comes up, to explain to them the problem and give them a solution. You know, maybe it's they have different network profiles, one for voice over IP, another one for all of the rest of the data communications. Whatever it is, you have the ability to address the issue. And then in the end of all of this back and forth, as well as analyzing the environment, seeing what existing wireless systems might be there and things like that, you're able to establish a set of documented requirements. And I always like to emphasize documented requirements because it's the only thing we can look at in the end of the project to see if we were successful. And then you can create an actual design for the wireless network based on those requirements. And then of course you can also assist people while they're implementing the design. They might have questions about the fact that you said put an AP at location X but for some reason in that building, they can't put it there and they need to move it 10 feet away. Well, you have the expertise to go back into the design, look at it and figure out what impacts that going to have. Do I need to change some configuration settings? Do I also need to move some other access points? That kind of thing. You can address those issues. And then when all is said and done, you can go in and validate that the installation meets all of those original requirements. So it's about defining the wireless network, doing requirements engineering, and then designing the wireless network, being available for the deployment or implementation of the wireless network, and finally validating the wireless network. Those are the four big things that we focus on in CWDP.